Hello and welcome again to Racecraft. Today I've got a really simple one for you. It's only going to be a short video. Have you ever had to put a bearing into a housing? If you warm the housing up, the bearing will slip straight in. But how do you know whether you've warmed it up enough? And if you've got a housing like this one, for instance, which has been anodized, you don't want to go burning the anodizing off. Well, here's a little trick for you. First thing you do, get your telegages out, put your telegauge in there and set it to the size of your housing. Now, if you don't have telescopic gauges, not a problem. You can just use a simple set of dividers, um, calipers, sorry. Right, so put your calipers in there and just set them just, just touching, just scraping the inside of the housing. That's all you need to do. So now you've got those set to the size. So when you warm your housing up, once these rattle in there, you know that it's bigger than the bearing. So let's go ahead and do it. So I've got my little butane torch here. Not a huge amount of heat. Whoops. So we're just going to warm this up. A funny thing happens when you do this. You'll see the water beating on the, on the actual aluminium here. And what I've found is that as you chase the water off, once you've got all the water off it, it's about the right temperature. So just going to warm it up here slowly, not too hot. So what you're going to do now is you take your calipers and just test for size. Now that's still just a little bit on the tightish side and I can do that with the dividers as well. Okay, so the dividers go in. So that's good. So we're nearly at temperature now. So it doesn't take a great deal. So we've warmed that up. Now I've got the hammer on standby just in case I don't quite get the, the bearing started squarely. So we'll just try our caliper, our dividers in there again. Okay, now that's definitely loose in there now. So we take our bearing and it just drops straight into the housing. Didn't even need the hammer. So that's it. That's how you put a bearing into a housing. Works on cast iron and steel housings on the, on the whole lot. So hope you enjoyed that little hint.